What's going on guys? It's the one round Welcome Today we are here with obviously another giant stadium. This time we have the Double Extreme Stadium set. So this is the new stadium that just dropped that has the fancy blue railing on the outside and then the little drop down hole where you get built up in speed and then raised back up and launched back into battle. So I'm excited to crack this open. Uh, it is a little lame that it comes with bare scratch or uh, Savage Bear in the Hasbro side of things. But it is kind of a reference to Metal Fight because they had a Rock Orso set that had a similar gimmick in the middle of a motorized stadium. So I get what they're getting at, but boo-hoo. The launcher looks nice. I think that ripcord is not actually going to be gold compared to like the uh, yellow or like mustard yellow wizard rod and all that. So I'm excited for that at least. It does take three double a batteries so just make note of that that's not included you're going to need that if you get the stadium um i got mine off uh surugaya or surugia i'm not sponsored by them at all that's just uh where i got them from these things sell out quick but for the time being i believe they're still in stock so if you want to grab one it's going to be the cheapest you can get it and also you'll get it the quickest their dhl shipping does not play at all again not sponsored just Shout now. Check out Sewer Gaia if you want to get some Takara Tomy Beyblades. Um, their selection isn't the best because they sell out so quick. But they have a lot of good options there. If you catch them early, like I just snagged uh, Steel Samurai, or Steel Samurai, uh, the new Samurai Beyblade, Garuda, and the uh, uh, Bit Combination set or whatever, that the Customized set on there for like, 75 bucks total or some stuff like that compared to everywhere else is probably going to be at least 100 or more and they have often free shipping on there so just keep that in mind i'm sure that because i like helping people get beyblades you know and of course the back of the box is showing you how everything works um so we have bare scratch 560 flat i will say an orange flat is nice the 560 is nice bare itself and so you actually get they, they kind of make up for it you get a winder you get the new stadium it's gimmicky but it's fun you get a four more hasbro exclusive and two actually really good parts so i can't really be mad at it but it's like man you couldn't have just given us a recall like you have drawn buster on the box can't you just give me like a green recolor of him or something something you know something cool but regardless i've been yapping too long let's go ahead and just crack this open I'll start, uh, give you a little rundown of the stadium. I'll show you the stadium put together afterward. I'm not going to put it together right here and now. I'll do that. I'll do a cut when I get to the battle side of things. But let's go ahead and crack this open. Of course, I am going to be keeping my code because I have my Japanese app working finally. So I'm on the hunt for the Aero Pegasus. Hopefully, I don't have to buy that one outright. <laughs> I already bought two Cobalt Drakes, technically. Um, but I did actually win on their... I'll probably show it off next year when I get it. Uh, Hell, the Black Hell's Chain. I managed to win one of those. But fortunately, but also unfortunately, they've updated things now. Where the new thing you get that isn't uh, Arrow Pegasus is block, uh, block, Black Dronzer. Which is a serious step down. It's cool and all, but maybe I'd be more willing to accept a new Dronzer if it wasn't the fourth recolor they've done they've done the uh, the standard blue uh, America got like the US side of things got the red color scheme and I believe the EU got the teal one so it's like it's cool that you did a bunch of different colors you know especially for one of the Bakuten shoot Beyblades it's mainly for collection it's not for battle that's cool and all uh why did you make an all black one the prize Beyblade? Like it whereas also it's not very good. Hell's chain is actually solid and like decent, usable. The Dronzer really isn't. I think I open my box upside down. I think I tend to do that. But let's just get everything all settled. I, I really can't tell. I think I did. This is a weird... Like I said, I don't normally do the box uh, unboxings on screen anymore, but for the big stadiums, I like doing them still. Just to give you guys something to look at. Uh, but let's... Uh, oh, 
always carry a knife, always practice knife safety, don't want to harm yourself or others. And I'm not too worried about you guys seeing this go. Oh yeah, another uh, good thing about Su uh, Surugaya, or Surugaya, I think Sur Surugaya, I think that's that's how it's pronounced. Uh, they're always Japanese codes, so they're straight from Japan. So if you use the app, if you're like me, who's in America using the app, you will get a usable Japanese code, not the Hong Kong slash like just Asia code, which is very, very convenient. Here is the middle part of the stadium. You slap the batteries in right there, and then the on switch. I don't think it's auto on, but there's an on switch around here. It might, yeah, it's right here. The big switch on the back here, on off. And so you can use it as a regular stadium. Probably not going to be as effective. Because it is, I think it is a bit wider than the traditional one. I'll compare that here in a bit. Here we have the black and gold, which I actually like a lot. And the whip cord is actually like a gold color, not like a mustard piss yellow. Which I'm fucking thankful for. I might pair this with my blue launcher. I have blue and gold. Mmm, I have any ideas. And then, of course, we have Zebe Blade. I do, again, I'm tired of them doing these clear white middles. Make it at least like a clear black or something. Ooh, like orange and well, orange and red might clash. But hell, at this point, just make it orange and yellow. Make it just identical to what they did over here, like literally. Just literally just do that. If you took this yellow part and put it over here, that'd look great. But I will give the Beyblade weight and do all that here now. And then we can get the big crazy stadium stuff here in a bit. I'll show off the stadium better when it's put together then. But let's do the quick Beyblade part of things that I can do. And then we'll just cut straight to battles. So I'm planning to do a couple battles just for some spoilers. We're going to do, because he's on the box, Drawn Buster. One on low flat, one on XL, just to see how it goes. I'm going to use the new Beyblade, of course, that I released alongside this. In a, its own standalone release. But Silver Wolf, I want to see how that handles in the stadium. I think it would just be fun. And I might grab a couple other Beyblades to throw in there. Maybe some other crazy attackers like hell. I think that shark would be potentially deadly in this stadium. So we'll see how we get there. But I at least have these couple Beyblades I wanted to try in the stadium. Just because I thought it would be fun. And there goes the stretch. Alright, so here is... I think I like the American color scheme more. So this is a Savage Bear compared to bear scratch you can see only minor differences in color i kind of fuck with the blue face on the bottom here they made it more yellow along with the little like thing it sits on i think if you took the orange off this one the orange plastic here swapped it with the yellow plastic over here and had the orange blue and kind of brown aesthetic it would look perfect but Let's see who wins here. Normally, it's Hasbro copying Takara Tomy, but this time, Takara Tomy is the one taking the Hasbro, the former Hasbro exclusive bay. So let's see which one ends up being the heavier one. So of course, we start off here with the Hasbro. Hasbro 2982. Not, not good. Not. And to reiterate, this is a clone of Rhino Horn. So. There you go. I know that we, I got rhino, rhino horn stands for days, but I don't know if we're standing for this bear. This is the bear y'all chose? This y'all bear? Uh-uh. Now let's see if the Takeratomi version is any better. 29.75. 29.74. So Hasbro actually wins out by 6 grams, give or take. Let's see, yeah, about six, seven grams there. So, uh, good job, Hasbro. You, uh, you, you did it. You did it. <laughs> and I know there are different combinations, but for sake of doing it, also here's the here's the two point one nine and the five sixty six point five seven. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see. I think the Takara Tomy one ends up being heavier just because of the parts. That's my guess. 38.52 compared to 38.12. Yeah, so the stock combinations are close. This one wins out mainly because of 560 is my guess. But 
they look good together. I, that's what I hate. The, the motif looks great. I like how they look. But, uh, not very good. But we'll see how they handle in the new Double Extreme Stadium. Give me half a second to cut to some battles. And I'll have it all set up and put together for you. And we'll see some extre Double Extreme Battles. And I'm probably going to have to Beyblade proof everything around me. Because I can only imagine seeing this stadium sending one of my drawn busters through my wall. So, uh, we'll see you guys in a second for some of those battles. Alright guys, so we're back with the battles. Before we get into the battles properly, I'm going to show off the comparisons to the other Takeratome Stadium I have. The, thankfully, I have the clear one to kind of make it easy. So you can see this one here. It's all set up and everything. I will pull this out here and uh, show you how to turn it on in a second. But here's this kind of set on top. It's a little glary because of, you know, clear plastic, whatever. Uh, but from what I can tell, at least from my angle, it is a bit wider at this front. So let's go ahead and look, look back at this one. See how it's a bit more rounded there. Here, it's kind of extended out this way, probably to accommodate the uh, gimmick of the stadium. That does mean you cannot transfer this blue extreme rail into a regular one. Because like just looking at it, at least from my angle up here, it is a bit wider in the ends they're kind of stretched out left and right so you can't put like that blue rail in here unfortunately the blue rail is locked to this stadium hopefully they release a, another blue stadium at some point or a blue rail that you can put from the stadium to stadium so i like kind of the, the opportunity to interchange the colors and that. that's really nice but we have our beyblades today of course we have what comes in the box uh bear scratch we have, we're going to test it against uh, Savage Bear from Hasbro side of things. We're going to use Silver Wolf because I just got this one in. So screw it. We're going to test it out in this stadium, see how it goes. As well as two different drawn busters. One on Excel and one on Low Flat. Because it's on the box and I'm excited to see how dangerous this stadium will get with those. As for the actual gimmick of the stadium, let's pop this out here for you. You can also just reach underneath it, but since I have it in this box, it's a little hard to do. You can just pop it up. You put your three AAA or AA batteries right there. And there you go. The gimmick is now gimmicking. It's a little... It's not super loud, but it is a noisemaker. And you can see it goes down for a couple seconds. Goes back up. Down. Up. So let's go ahead and lead with, let's see, whoever wins out of these two will go against Silver Wolf, and then whoever wins out of those ones will go against the Drawn Busters, and I think at the end I might just do the Drawn Busters against each other to see how scary the stadium gets. Uh, the pockets are a little bit deeper, it looks like they took an example from uh, Hasbro and made these pockets deeper, so if you get knocked into that pocket, you're not coming back. The extreme pocket is about the same. I think it is a little bit, a little bit deeper. I think is what it looks like. So that's what they changed on the stadium. But let's go ahead and get to it. Let me know who you think is going to win out of here. We got Bear Scratch and Savage Bear, and don't forget to check out channel sponsor. It's going to actually help do this video. Newsle three D to get your own launcher link so you can launch two Beyblades at once. They also have slip grips. They have Beyblade uh, X stands. A bunch of stuff for uh, Beyblade Access 3D printed. You can use code RIKO, R-I-K-O, for 10% off your entire order. Check them out. I love the sponsor. I Obviously, it helps make these videos possible with the launcher link. And they're also just really nice. Really solid products. I like them a lot. I was using them before I was sponsored. Now that I am sponsored, I'm more than happy to share a discount code with you guys. Again, code RIKO. Uh, code RIKO. Or you can check um, the link down below, my affiliate link for Noozle 3D, 10% off your entire order. Let's get into the actual battle now. Let's start and see how this goes. Three, two, one. Well, okay, so don't get to see the gimmick of the stadium yet, uh, because that was an instant burst. So that was actually Bear Scratch, or Scratch Bear. I'm actually not, I think it's Bear Scratch. So that's two points. Again, these two aren't the best Beyblades. But, you know, they're the bears. We gotta do with it. I also think I should probably have put this... I might put this combo on a Phoenix Feather. Because I think this 
uh, orange tip with a grate on there. And in the show, it was like a 360 flat. So that might be pretty good. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Ooh, and now we see the gimmick for the first time. Didn't end up hitting anything. Oh, now it did. All right, so two points, or that's three points for Scratch Bear. Looks like Takara Tomy is beaten. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. And it looks like the attack type Scratch Bear wins with five points. All right. So, womp womp. Moving on, let's try with Silver Wolf. And as you can see, I got the Silver Wolf launcher, and this is the, this is the launcher that came with uh, the bear, which I love the gold on it. It looks really nice. And the silver one looks great as well. So let's see how these two handle each other. Three, two, one. Big hit. We're battling a little mini part there. And Wolf takes the first point. All right, all right. So the score is one to zero. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. And the speed up. It worked to get a huge burst on Wolf, making the score now two to one. Let me get my monster back loaded up. Let's get these two fixed here. All right. Let's go into the next battle. And I just realized my shirt is inside out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ooh. And that is a second burst. So Bear wins again, taking out Silver Wolf. I thought Silver Wolf would handle a bit better in there, but I guess the uh, extremeness, the double extremeness, rather, of the stadium is too much. So now, let's go with the stock drum buster versus bear scratch now this might be a little scary so i'm gonna step back three two one and drum buster takes the first point got some big fight big hits right off the bat and i like that i can't wait to take this stadium to the first uh kansas city beyblade club group meeting that i can with this i think this will be real fun at least for a one-off Three, two, one. Two points for Drum Buster. Let's get this loaded back up again. Yeah. These battles are so short that I can't reload my launcher in time. All right. So the score is two to zero. Three, two, one. There was contact. That actually, this also shows you how deep those pockets are. Because this was the other, the regular stadium. This would have came right back out. So now the score is tied, two two. Three two one. Making use of the gimmick. Bear actually takes the win with the super mega extreme dash. All right. Three, two, one. And now the score is even at 3-3. Three, three. It's anyone's game. Can we get... I want to see an extreme finish in the stadium. Let's see if we can do that. Between these two, it has to be possible. Three, two, one. And we have an over finish... Bear wins. Now, we have to have the slightly more dangerous, I'd say, Drawn Buster step in. This is Drawn Buster on low flat. So this may be a bit more intense, but I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. Bear bursted. I'm a liar. I just realized that. So that match is scuffed. That means we have to go back. It's still anyone's game. Uh... Can get my ratchet back in there? Hold on. Is it... Okay, there we go. So yeah, 
That was a KO and a burst. So we're going to go ahead and just redo that match. Three, two, one. And it looks like Bear wins either way. So we go right back to what we're doing. Alrighty. Three, two, one. Whoa. John Buster almost flies out of the stadium at me. And one point, John Buster. Three, two, one. That's a total of three points for John Buster with the over finish. Can I get an extreme finish? I want to see an extreme finish in the stadium. I feel like it'd be really cool. All right, this could be match point. Let's find out. Three, two, one. John Buster with the super fast stadium <laughs> extreme dash. But, uh, I think John Buster took that, but I'm going to go ahead and do one more anyway because I like launching Beyblades. Three, two, one. John Buster is hopping all over the place. And that one was a much cleaner tie, so we're just gonna go again. Put this one over here, go right here. Three, two, one. Ooh. Come on, give me an extreme finish. All right, well that works too. So John Buster wins that with no points scored on the side of Bear. But now we go back to a Buster v Buster match time for a good old classic bust off <laughs> course going to four let me know if you think it's going to be the lighter drum buster or the darker drum buster let's find out three two one first two points go to the light drum buster Ooh, almost dropped him is it me or did the stadium get louder? I feel like it got louder. Let's find out who, what's going to happen next. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. And there's my extreme finish. And that gives the light, again, the light drum buster. Maybe because I have it on low flat, maybe that's just what it is. But no, I did, I did a battle with these guys on, uh, they were both on stock combos. And for sake of doing it, I'm going to do one more just because I like doing this, guys. This is your extra bonus battle. Three, two, one. Hey, and Dark Drum Buster gets a little bit of comeuppance here. Gets two points. Anyway, we're going to call that there. That's all the battles I wanted to do today. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now because it is kind of loud. Where's the, where's the switch? There we go. I do like that it resets itself when you turn it off. It doesn't just stop at the bottom. It actually has enough, I guess, ingenuity in it to go, oh, yeah, push it all the way to the top. I like that. Anyway, this has been the review of the Double Extreme Stadium. I like it. It's definitely gimmicky. It's obviously not going to be used in tournament or anything, but it is super fun. <laughs> they should use this to, when you get to the finals, the final, final match to win the tournament should be done in this stadium, in this stadium alone. That'd be really, really fucking funny. Uh, but uh, if you like what you see, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content like this. Pokemon New UFE reviews and Beyblades. Don't forget to check out Noozle 3D for your uh, 3D printed Beyblade goodness. You got your launcher links. Uh, of course, I launch them right there. You got your slip grips, all that good stuff. I really like them. And I said code RICO, 10% off. Or you click my affiliate link down below. Let me know what you guys think about this stadium. I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, it's super gimmicky. I love the blue and red color scheme. I think it's definitely fun. Definitely for like casual play or whatever, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like Scratch Bear. I like the color scheme a lot. I like the parts they gave too. It's actually pretty nice. Even if it's not the best Beyblade, you know, because it is just a, a clone of a clone of Rhino Horn. So, uh, and there's like too many Rhino Horn clones now. Uh, but anyway, I've been the one, Round Raiko. We'll see you guys next time.